I'm John Schauer from Yamaha, and I'm here at DigitalDJGear.com and Musical.ly Yours to talk to you about a couple of new products I wanted to show you. The StagePass 1K Mark II and the DXL 1K. So what we wanted to show you today was on the new StagePass 1K, the more desirable new features that are on it and how it fits in your rig and how the DXL 1K can be an addition to your rig when you're ready. Both of these units are in stock and available right now on digitaldjgear.com. Before we get started, give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. We really appreciate your business and your viewership. Every video we make features products we keep in stock and are ready to ship. So in the StagePass 1K Mark II, you get uh, three pieces that go on top of the subwoofer. Um, it's a 12-inch subwoofer, and then these spacers go in here to raise the array to the height of your audience. So this is perfect if you're going to be on the ground and you want this to cover a broad range for your crowd. If you like and you're on a stage, you can always use a shorter uh, with, without the uh, spacer design and then you will get the same amount of throw and it, you won't have to be worrying about how high you are in the room. So on the Stage Pass 1K Mark II, you got all these parts and you get it a fully stacked unit like this, you get that high uh, throw out into your room. This has 10 drivers in it. They're small one and a half inch drivers with neodymium magnets so we can get real tight uh, positioning of the drivers so that uh, we act like a really good LAN array. Our friends at uh, Nexo helped us design this array and it's actually a J-curve. So down here at the bottom of the array you have a few of these drivers tilted in so that we can get an even broader coverage up close. So you get 170 degrees of dispersion horizontally and 30 degrees vertically. So it's a very nice uh, coverage pattern. So for the power rating on this, it's 1100 watts maximum output so that you can get up to 125 decibels of SPL or sound pressure level. In other words, it plays really, really loud for such a small, demure cabinet and it hides easily in your uh, rig so that you won't even see it. Having that 12 inch woofer here at the bottom to augment your bass gets you all the low end that you could really, you know, need for a balanced sound. So that covers the outside and the overall of the unit. So let's have a look at the mixer on the Stage Pass 1K Mark II and all of the features that we've tweaked and improved over Stage Pass Original. So you'll notice we still have a five input mixer with three uh, mono inputs and then one stereo input that you could use to bring your uh, decks into or any of your microphones. Um, you can also pair these up. You'll notice we only have one green knob on here. This is that green knob on any Yamaha piece of gear is EQ. Um, on this particular unit, we use a morphing EQ that's a patented uh, device that we got from the digital mixing of this unit. So this is actually a multi-band EQ and it's doing multiple sweeps of filters so that you can go all the way from a vocal mic to a boosted low-end kind of a full range EQ for your decks, that sort of thing all on one knob. But if you want, you'll be able to control those via the app with the four bands of EQ all on your own. You also have on here the reverb that is built in our uh, famous SPX quality reverb so that you get good uh, for, for vocals, karaoke purposes, uh, things like that where you need a great vocal or echo. You can totally get that with these blue knobs. And you're, the rest of this is fairly easy to set up. The idea behind this mixer was to hide the tech inside the mixer so that you could get back to making music and we could help you get that way. For the improvements on this mixer, we were able to add a ducker 
so that now you can reduce the level of the two track input whenever an, an analog uh, audio input comes in, uh, it'll trigger the uh, levels to be lowered. Great for making announcements and things like that. But what's really cool about it is if you want to take a break, you can leave this ducker function active so that somebody can come up and make announcements and the music will automatically duck out away from them. This is really a cool feature. Uh, the other thing we added in here was uh, the ability for you to get to all that EQ and more control, more granular control of that digital mixer with your app. So whether you've got an iPad or a, an a Android device, you can go and get the app and have a look at it. There's two pages of uh, editing now uh, on the uh, app to allow you complete control of that mixer. On the back of the StagePass 1K Mark II, we have all the connectivity for the unit. It's pretty easy as you look across here, you'll see three uh, combi jacks, which can be quarter inch, balanced, or XLR input, so you can use whichever type of cables you already have for that. Then your stereo input is, uh, is quarter inch connectors, or we have the eighth inch stereo up at the top. And you also have a Bluetooth input, so you can give your Bluetooth audio to that channel. And then that's how you would have multiple uh, stereo channels of product coming in. You also have a stereo um, function on the mixer to turn this from a mono system to a full stereo rig. And I'll show you how to do that as we get further into this demo. There's a couple other connectors down here. There's the monitor output so that you can have a separate um, small powered speaker perhaps. You could leave that up at the speaker's table or for the best man's um, monitor bus. It's right there on your output. It's on an, on an XLR. And then we have link out and the link in. And that's how we're gonna turn this into a stereo rig. So this is the DXL1K. This is the powered speaker in our lineup that is everything the StagePass 1K is acoustically and electronically with its amplifier and its output power, but it doesn't have the mixer because they're gonna use yours. We can save you some money if you wanna use this type of a, of a speaker. It has simpler um, inputs and outputs on the back so, so that all you need to do is feed it from your mixer and you have both a microphone directly microphone input that can be either mic or line and then you have the second input which is line only so you'd bring your mixer into here um, these are also connected via link in and link out so that you can daisy chain all these units together and have them all operate at the same levels. Really nice if you're setting up a system where you have multiple units out there. But it's the exact same performance as you heard in the StagePass 1K Mark II. Expanding your StagePass 1K Mark II to stereo is really easy, or to double the size of it by adding a DXL1K. All you need are two pieces of XLR cable, and all we're gonna do is come out of the link out of our stage pass, 1K Mark II, and we're gonna go to our link in on the DXL1K, and we'll have one other XLR cable that comes from the link out over here on the DXL1K and returns to the link in here on your StagePass 1K Mark II. Now, when you put inputs here or here, they both show up in both speaker systems. And with that simple switch that you have right here on the StagePass 1K, you now have a stereo rig that you have pan control over with the app. From this first page, you would see all the stage passes that are available to connect. This can connect up to four units, but we see our one unit ready to go right here. And once it's connected, we can open up the mixer and you'll notice you get your um, faders are all available to you for control here. 
These all can be adjusted from anywhere you can walk in the space so that you can get that squared away. The second page has EQ. This one knob EQ that goes from all of the different types of EQ, but if you like the EQ, we can keep it open like this and give you four bands of fully parametric EQ, meaning you can adjust anything about the EQ, both uh, its Q or width of filter, and also the uh, uh, w what frequencies you're at, which is your trim controls, so that once you have your system running, you'll be able to trim the levels as you need to here by simply pushing the up or down plus or minus keys. And then you'll also notice you have a main up and down as well. Also note at the bottom that you have your music queued up. This is great for your Bluetooth playback because your queued function will allow you to play one track at a time or whatever song list you have. And I'll show you that by simply going in and picking the playlist you like and you grab the song you want and it loads it up ready to play. It's queued and ready to go. There's even in settings a pre-roll so you can set up to a 10 second pre-roll if you wanted to talk in uh, an announcement for music coming in, that sort of thing, or your device settings, which allows you to name the device and set a password so that other people can't help you mix. <laughs> So here's a demo of how the Ducker might work for you. You'd have your audio coming in. And you'd want to make an announcement on your microphone. So you just talk into the microphone. With the Ducker engaged, you'll see the music drops and then returns after your announcement. I'd like to welcome Mr. and Mrs. Jones to the dance floor. So included with either the Stage Pass 1K Mark II or the DXL 1K is a cover so that you can pack away your unit and protect it in transport. Packing it up super easy. Just take all your parts off your main subwoofer. Slip the cover on, and in here in the front, you've got pockets for all of the spacers and your array. So you can keep them all nice and protected from one another. It's got a handle here so you can carry it, and right here on the back. You got pockets for your wires, maybe a microphone or two, so you're all set. Optionally, if you want, there is a dolly for this as well. DL-SP1K, which has the four casters on it and fastens to the bottom of the case. So you got an option of being able to carry it this way or put it on that cart and roll it out easily. So this covers the two new products I wanted to show you today, the Stage Pass 1K Mark II and the DXL 1K. They're both available now on digitaldjgear.com. So check them out there and pick them up. If you're in the market for the products covered in this video today, visit digitaldjgear.com to make your purchase. We offer easy and affordable financing through our partner Bread, so you can pay for your purchase over time, and you also may be eligible for PayPal credit when you shop through our website. Be sure to leave a comment below if this video helped you, and check out these other videos we think you might like. And until next time, thanks for watching.